Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Digital League Battle. This is Season 11, High Middle Ages, Division A. In this match against the dreaded Harvey, who I consider one of the top two or three players of Fog 2, I have my Papal with Byzantine allies against his Berber Murabit. Okay, so Berber list really could go in any direction, unfortunately. I mean, only a couple knights. Camels to cancel out my knights. A swarm of light spear cavalry is one possibility, or a swarm of light horse, or a swarm of light foot. A good set of master archer options. Medium foot is available. Heavy foot, both regular spearmen and the 51 point veteran Muslim spearmen, one of the best buys in the game. So, with that in mind, I've bought a screen of light archers. <clears throat> no light crossbowmen because they're really only good against armor and there's not a lot of armor in the Berber list. One extra crossbowman unit, so I have one here on this hundred height hill, and one here for this rough ground. Though, depending on what he brings here in that cover might not be that useful. I have grabbed one Rosk Dotoin Archers to defend this hill. Uh, let me switch that up. And both Skutatoin Archers to this flank to fight off light probes, along with my three light horse, my Byzantine cavalry, and knights and sergeants. Trebuchets here as well to fight off cavalry. Knights here to charge in the center if needed. I have also maxed out on my high quality, though very much uh, more expensive, less efficiently priced heavy foot. So he has 51 point offensive spearmen. I have 69 point dismounted knights and sergeants. They are at least armored in exchange, but still not nearly as cost effective. And speaking of not cost effective, we have the ranging guard, 87 points. Highly superior, well armored. They should do very well, but uh, it also means I have a shorter line. So, really, what I do depends on whether he goes cavalry heavy, skirmish heavy, or a giant wall of spears. But I do have a decent defensive position, uh, hill, river to anchor the flank, rough ground here, which should slow cavalry up in a hill here if I want to make use of it. So yeah, we'll see what Harvey brings. Okay, let's see that force comp and deployment. Very curious, light or heavy, horse or foot? Um, light cavalry. 13 units of lights to my, what? Six, seven, eight, nine. So these Skutatoi are gonna have to help. A fair amount of light spear cavalry to try to take advantage of breaches. Otherwise, <laughs> Lots and lots of veteran Muslim spearmen. Okay. Well, this should be interesting then. We can seize the hill. I guess I have a 10th light unit there, light javelin men. Good. Then, what? Same number of light horse on both sides. Let's stretch out the line, get Skutatoi on that hill for now, so they can cut off approaches. We got here, veterans. Right. Spread out. Out lancers and knights to the wing. I kind of wish I brought my Kribano Furoi to stomp the veterans. Although, even they don't do a great job at that. Okay, let's keep shifting our knights over. So, we're gonna try to occupy this zone, narrow the field, and then we can consider it in advance into the open. Next turn.
Okay, so they're going to try to edge past there. We'll need to prevent that, of course. Oop, wrong unit. Go shift you over. Great. Then what? Let's see, big line of spearmen, then a bunch of cavalry. He'll avoid attacking this hill, obviously. What we could do is get crossbowmen into the rough to dominate this area. Some light javelinmen forward as well. Because uh, he has no intention of attacking this, I would assume. Shift over, shift over, forward, and turn, forward. This crossbowman can cover our shooting there. We need more missile troops on the left. Okay, then what is the range on this thing anyway? Mm, why don't we turn it? Yeah, we can move over a couple tiles. Good. Byzantine Lancers, Knights and Sergeants. Sure, hang out, be ready. And call that good for now. So we'll try to shift over here. Maybe meet for battle here while having just enough strength here to prevent him from swooping around. Next turn, maneuvering continues. Camels could be a problem. We need to deploy to maximize our firepower with the Skutatoi in between our skirmishers, I think. Maybe shift them over, they could be useful at the end. Though vulnerable to the veteran Muslim spearmen. So he'll use a threat of cavalry here to prevent me from swinging everyone in, if he can. Uh, with that in mind, I might draw in this line a bit to be here. Uh, like so. Good. These crossbowmen will push for that rough. Might use Kutatoi and archers and raw spearmen to head off this cavalry while our defensive spearmen push in towards these raw Muslim spearmen. Can we hit anything? Not yet. Next turn.
occupy that rough. Great. You can just uh, kind of be around and slow that unit down. That's close bow shot. Want to well the javelin men. No cavalry in range yet. Knights, Dottoi, Lancers, okay. Keep the line together, keep the line together. That should be good for now. Next turn. Okay, yeah, he's going to force me to either retreat further or advance into close skirmisher shot. So we'll turn, advance, maybe, no, let's, let's stay there, then push. Okay. And push, there we go. Uh, let's see, can we hit anything useful? Not really, but let's start. <laughs> it's not going to make a huge difference, you'll just pull them back and rally, but it's still entertaining. I'll take it. And we turn, and we get ready for him to come out and give us the first volley, basically. Get our knights ready here as well. That's a hundred height, do I want to camp that with my skidato? I'll probably just avoid it. Yeah, I might just need them to help with the shooting here, unfortunately. Okay. So, next turn, we push our Rospears forward and our crossbowmen will follow along the Skidato. We'll try to engage this weaker left wing. Slow any movement at flanking. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't think this is going to go well. All those veterans. Next turn.
shifting back over. Okay. Why not just go for it? Yeah, that was going to happen twice. Okay. Well, I guess we have to get sucked in now, and it's not going to be very pretty. Yeah, really, I should have seen this move coming, and now, as a result... <sighs> so what I should have done is just stayed on my hill and invited battle here. Instead, I got greedy, and as a result, I'm going to end up fighting a battle in the flat open against seven units of veteran spearmen, and that means I'm going to lose. But we have no choice now. What we need to do is fill in the line to the best of our ability. This crossbowman can shift over. There we go. for a disruption. Nope. Zone that, then zone that. But the stretch is very bad. I'm going to lose some units here. The question is, can we make a dent here? Again, I just don't think so. There's so many veterans, and I've got three veteran infantry units. Next turn. Yeah, that's not going to be pretty. If he's locking his men in. So that you can try to set up a flank. We'll see the oh. Guess it doesn't even matter. my best infantry. I 
well. It's actually kind of annoying. I need to have my dismounted knights fighting these spearmen, not staring at these camels. Here, shove them off. It's fine. We inch forward. Here's what we try. They're trapped in. Hold firm. Hit those camels next. Nothing. Good. Get in the way. Lancers cannot take down those camels, but the Scutatoi can. Why don't we push to slow the infantry? And knights should be able to fight camels. It's not very efficient, but it is what it is. Shove them? Do we shoot them? Can't save this unit anyway, so I suppose we might as well just shoot, zone, and enjoy ourselves for a little bit. We get flanked. Hmm. Maybe I should have tried to shove them off, I don't know. They come to a halt, we'll need to find a way to mow them down. Next turn. Well, that's unfortunate.
trying to set up the flank, so I need to go for a counter charge. But he's going to keep the skirmishers in the way, so I can't be certain if I'll be able to counter it. Alright, so that's what I was fearing with the cavalry situation. So we'll do what we can with the crossbowmen. Nice. At least get some use out of these raw spearmen. Yeah, you're super dead. Okay. Could finish that. So if we well here. I was hoping we would stand. Enemy unit is up fifty POA. No point trying to rescue them then. If you break and if you run here in state, uh, this is kind of risky, but Good, we prevented the flank on our dismounted knights. Do I break them or turn? Probably turn. Ah, how stupendously confusing. Next up, why don't we shoot up some camels? Hold firm, here, pile in. Okay, how is that anyway? It's not bad, but no need to do it really. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. If you zone that unit in, then you can start working, uninflicting some loss. That should force some kind of action. Shove in here. And at least take that out. Okay, uh, what do I want to do with these defensive spearmen? If I charge in here, I'll just get countercharged. I think I want to wait here. Extra cohesion for the camels. Held firm again, but they can't take a lot of punishment like that, so the knights can stay in reserve for a little bit. Okay, fine. These two in reserve, because I think bad things are going to happen eventually. Maybe even turn you there. They can wait. Fact. Turn that way. looking extremely bad, but we'll deal with damage we can before we cave. So Harvey's has tough close battles so far. I mean, ish, but my collapse is coming. I swear I'm not just being my uh, usual pessimistic self. All right, there's a rear charge being set up.
goodbye to the crossbowmen. Ugh. Nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there comes the collapse. Okay, into the dismounted knights. They're under severe pressure now. Okay, well, with that in mind, let's turn and shoot, and again, uh, let's, let's do this bad combat first. I might block our field of fire though, okay, I'll risk a cohesion drop. Good, now we break and flee, oh shit. Uh, I was kind of afraid of that. Kind of afraid of that. Okay. Damn, I was really hoping to break them. If I do this, do I just go directly into the camels or do I chase past? No, nope, directly in. What a waste. Total waste. Okay. Well, it's what it is. Some more hurt on them. Try for it, it's your last shot, could happen. Negative, what do we got here? Down 42, because we're only 50% spearmen. Ouch. Continue to just hose these guys down with arrows. Held firm again. Zone them in. And what? Shift over, we're gonna need it. Oh, I should have fought the other one first. Into the veteran Muslim spearmen who bounce us. That's not really a surprise. Okay, so then what? If we push these... Nah, I was going to say if we push them back. But we don't push them back, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to stay here, so if we push them back, then we can get in a flanking position. In the meantime, we need to cover the rear of our knights. So, instead he'll charge the crossbowmen and roll this, but those units were doomed anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And here he's setting up a flank, charge, charge. Anyway, I can avoid that. I can delay it. I guess delay is the best I can hope for. Do I shoot? Or do I... Uh, go for a frag? That's actually not a terrible idea, given that we're screwed here. The other alternate, I could turn to face this way and hope that I lose impact and fall back, but I don't think that's very likely, so we'll just do that. Keep the crossbowmen covered. Next turn. Rally on the Muslim Spearmen. Okay. He 
Yep. As we thought. Surprise save held firm, to be honest. Gonna keep my routers moving. I wonder nope. if I do this and if I don't bounce off, could I get a flank? I don't know what the answer is and there's only one way to find out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Auto break, do I charge and bounce? Might need to just cover the flank. And then we can charge and bounce. Oh, we had a 40% to win there. If we let's see. Go for the frag. Good. I guess move to support the action on the flank, you're gonna fall back. Or run away. That's honestly the smarter choice. That's what I would do. Oh yeah, this is going to be done in a turn or two. I guess I could have charged there. Hold there, the delay is better that way. Yeah, probably should have charged that unit there. Although then when they broke it would have spread more panic, so maybe not. Note how the Varingians are not doing anything, despite costing uh, 36 more points than this unit of better Muslim spearmen. Thus, my pessimism. Harvey says, this might be the last turn, assuming no rallies. GG, much closer game than the score indicates. Was it, though? <laughs> I think Harvey's just being nice here. Let's see... So, how does he get to 40? Lots of options, honestly. Thirty-six. <laughs> nice, okay, forty. That'll auto break, I assume. 44.
Yeah, keeping the riding troops riding. Really good use of light cavalry if you have it. All right, very well played. Lots of things going on in this game. Um, so for one thing, brilliant move, exposing a seemingly weak flank on its left here, but doing so far enough away that when I came down from my highly defensible ground, he was able to turn back. Part of that's also because he had, I think, 35 units to my 31 or 34 to my 30, uh, so he could have a longer line. The sort of army list level thing is that these veteran Muslim spearmen are amazing, and I have nothing that can effectively take them on. So even the Varangian Guard, which costs, uh, what, 36 more points, so 87 points as opposed to 51 points, I'm generaled up fighting a non-general veteran Muslim spearman, up 125 POA, and they're not even disrupted because they're superior heavy foot. So... <laughs> I would win this in isolation, but it doesn't matter, because a unit like this needs to break, say, two enemy units to be worth it. The knights are just not useful, given the camels. I mean, look at that. General up knights. General up camels, sure, but the camels are much cheaper in point value. And then, in terms of the battle line, I get a max of three units of superior quality infantry. Well, highly superior for the Fringian Guard. Those three units combined cost 73 points more than three units of veteran Muslim spearmen. And this list gets seven veteran Muslim spearmen. So the rest of my infantry line is average defensive spearmen who get wrecked. Or uh, Skutatoi and archers, which are really great against cavalry and even camels, but they get bowled over even by your standard Muslim spearmen, because uh, here we're down 42 POA. And the standard Muslim spearmen are much cheaper than Skadato and Archers. In the lights department, uh, the Berber list can get a lot of light infantry and much more light cavalry. And in the cavalry department, so this list can get knights, which get neutralized by camels, or some cheapish Byzantine cavalry. Uh, one unit, I think, is 61 points, and then two units of above average lancers at 41 points a pop. But they can't invade they still get messed up by camels. Whereas this list gets the cheap Muslim light spear cavalry, they can evade out of trouble, and they can run down archers and crossbowmen and the like in the open and uh, get flank attacks. So given all that, I should have camped this hill across to this hill and rough anchor and just not moved. That would not have necessarily guaranteed a win or anything, but it would have allowed me to put, say, weaker units here to just hold this and here, and concentrate my strongest units in the center. And then in that case, what Harvey would have had to do is try to shoot my men down for disruptions before attempting an advance. So he juked me out, had me come out into the open where I was weaker, and then just obliterated me. It was very nicely done, and it's a lesson I will remember if you're camping, when you feel disadvantaged about facing an army in the open, you keep on camping. So, a good game to Harvey, very well played, and good luck to him in the rest of the league season. Till next time.